do I get the bearded Buddha button? Coconut. You have to buy probably all of our stock because um, it is hidden in box number 300. And if you get lucky, you can still get it. So, go ahead. Did you put anything special into the box to have 42? Chip boom. Ha! <laughs> that is an excellent question. Um, well, number 42 is not out there. Number 42 is actually sitting on a shelf here. It is reserved for one of my ultimate hero nerds. Uh, that's actually Will Wheaton. And I need somebody to contact Will Wheaton. I just need the address and we'll send it for free. And if he likes it, he can just tell his friends that he likes it. Um, I love this guy. Uh, he's just my hero nerd. Do you guys have another job or has this become your full-time job? Need some new employees? Kermit 3105. Uh, no, it's full time. It's full time. Um, I'm the uh, owner, if you want, of, of uh, uh, Master Minis and Painting Buddha. Actually, the company is called Manabu. Uh, and Ben and Marty are full time employees. Uh, and yes, we do need more people, but before we need, uh, can afford more people, we need some sales in. And uh, so maybe next year uh, we can talk about hiring somebody new. Did you design all the logos and artworks yourself? Stefan Johnson. Now my answer is actually a little teaser to something that I plan for the future, but uh, I'm too dumb to do these kind of things. But I got friends who are not quite as dumb as me, and uh, those are uh, Marty and Ben. And Marty, is, uh, Marty and Ben are both uh, great designers, they have a, growth, a great sense for um, shapes and colors and stuff. So they designed everything, um, I had some ideas and we did it all together, so that's how it worked. Did you have a favorite ninja scout, Rick Benny? <laughs> Matis! Yeah, he forced you to say that. <laughs> no. <laughs> no! You forced me to say that, man. <laughs> um, not really, there's too much good stuff to choose from. <sighs> My favorite Minja Scout, there's so many. Um, I would have to say for this year, one of the miniatures that impressed me a lot was uh, Nocturna's uh, New York Loose, uh, or Loose New York, I think it's called. Uh, I really love that sculpt, it's just beautiful. Um, but uh, is it my favorite? No. Maybe today it is, uh, maybe over the last two weeks it has been, but uh, next week might be different. What was your hardest miniature to paint and why? Michael Hansen. Mm, I think f uh, the hardest miniature for me was the Alice um, that I did uh, with uh, Alice Weingart together because it was just one of a kind and I was so afraid to break anything all the time so it took me ages and I wasn't, wasn't really relaxed. Is the Easter egg XYZ? Many, many smiles. <laughs> it's the smiles! <laughs> What's this? Many, many smiles. It's like, it's like many, many... <laughs> many, many... Okay, to all of the Easter egg hunters. The answer has not been found yet. Uh, we are not looking for a physical Easter egg. We're not looking... People send me pictures of me with my afro and the ghost picture and that this looks like an egg. And like, no, no, no. Uh, an Easter egg is something that's just a hidden message. And the answer is 42. And a lot of people have already come very close to it. Um, my hint would be, don't think about letters. Do any of you have art education? Stefan Johnson. <laughs> um, uh, well, not really art, but uh, I studied architecture. That's not art. Art, architecture. <laughs> <laughs> not at all, really. Um, well, like Marty and Ben, you're probably not surprised that I have absolutely no art education whatsoever. <laughs> I can prove it too. Why are you more painters than gamers? Thomas Stanislavski. For me it's mostly time. Um, I would love to game more, absolutely. I would love to have a nicely painted army, but I, this year I've painted two miniatures. Just absolutely no time whatsoever. Uh, I hope this will change in the future. Hmm, I think uh, during um, university I had so, such a little time left that I had to decide whether I love more the painting or love the gaming. So and I decided for the painting because it was always uh, something I felt my heart beating more for it. 
As Pedros, do you understand why it's today renamed and changed its entire paint range? Kermit 3105. Well, we, th there's no painting explanation to renaming the colors. This is all legal stuff. The legal department of Games Workshop, as you know, is uh, always eager of trying to protect their IP. Uh, they protected all of their names. Why are there so little girls working at Painting Butter? Mad sex switch. Yes, I have not actually seen any of the little girls you talk about working here. So I would have to actually look. They might be hide, hidden under some pile of miniatures somewhere. I'll check it out. What's the painting technique you use most often when painting miniatures? Daniel Ferrer. Wet and wet blending as seen in DVD 1.1. For me, there's uh, two main techniques. The first one is base coating, and the second one is a big layer of procrastination. <laughs> What's your favorite part in painting a miniature? What is unappreciated? Giulio Matirano. Face is favorite, feet. Nah. Foot. The, the feet. famous, the yes, famous. famous <laughs> feet and faces. <laughs> Yeah, no, I love to paint the, the, the upper part, the face, um, also chest area, but yeah, feet and shoes are not really my cup of tea. Excluding painting the personnel who has the most epic beard in the community, Chaco Chaco uh, Visions. I would say Dino from uh, Italy. He, his beard is uh, epic. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's totally effective. <laughs>